Hey, what's up YouTube? It's uh, the Hallowed Heathen coming at you here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, before I get into today's video, which will be shorter than my previous ones, um, I gotta give you guys a heads up. I've tried to start this video, or tried, this, tried to do this video like four or five times, and I've been completely and totally unsuccessful. Reason as to why is because every time I do this video, it ends up being too long, I end up going on a rant, or I end up sounding like a complete and total freaking douche nozzle extraordinaire, right? I, I, I kind of end up sounding like the the mega douche king, you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell a story, I'm trying to convey a point without sounding like a complete and total fucking prick asshole. Because that's definitely not who I am, that's definitely not who I want to be, that's definitely not who I see myself as, or more importantly, who, who I want you guys to see me as. Um... So yeah, this is the the final attempt at this video, and whatever happens, happens. I'm going to go ahead and tell the story, keep it short, make my point, and then just fucking move on, right? So, um, before I get into today's video, a little caution tape, or a little fair warning around today's video. Today's video will not fit into my, my usual genre, like, you know, motivational, fitness, um inspiring improving it's not going to enlighten you it's not going to to tell you to do better it's not going to you know or I, I might tell you to do better i mean better than me hopefully right um so it might have that effect on you where you want to do better than myself but overall this video is just to get you know get you guys to get a laugh a little bit of fun entertainment for you guys at my expense um but yeah today's video is not going to be inspirational not going to be motivational it's not going to make you want to go tear things up in the gym or live the better life. It's just strictly for entertainment purposes for you guys. And for me, it's more so for me to get something off my chest so then I can kind of move past it and go on with my life, right? Um, so yeah. So as you read the title, title today is story time, um, which is probably about as, <laughs> as happy and motivational as I am going to get. Um, so, as you guys know, or as I hope you know, I'm a very positive, very happy, very upbeat individual, but along this whole journey of self-improvement, I've tried to find small, minute aspects in every life where I can then find a way to improve, right? I want to overall improve myself as a whole from every aspect, right? By the time I'm done, I'm not going to be perfect but I'm going to be as close to perfect as I possibly can and I'll be getting better each and every day, right? Is what my goal, what my mindset, what my what my hope or my desire is. So with that being said, I have been reviewing every aspect of my daily life and trying to find areas or little little things to improve on to again become more of who I want to be and more or less who my family deserves and who you guys ultimately deserve, ultimately deserve as well, right? So with that being said, um, as you read in the title, I'm angry and I'm paranoid. Now, to give you a little insight into this, I did not know this about myself. I always saw myself as a happy-go-lucky, um, upbeat guy who doesn't have issues with, with anger. But what I found out is that I'm the kind of person that gets frustrated by the smallest, or sorry, not just frustrated, angry by the smallest, most insignificant, most immature things ever if now the only things that cause this reaction are immature stupid little minute things that are wasting my time wasting your time and keeping both of us from getting better and ultimately putting me in a spot i just don't want to be in putting me in a mindset or a thought process or you know some kind of situation i just don't want to be in so to make the story very very short what i'm talking about is i'm talking about prank calls I don't know about you guys, but for some freaking reason, prank calls get on my very, very last nerve. Prank calls, scam calls. You guys are trying to get something for nothing, you're wasting my time, you're wasting your time, and you sound like a fucking idiot doing it. Now, another fair warning, caution tape around this video, this is a rant video, obviously, so it might get a little vulgar, so maybe not the best video to watch with your family, but come back to it, watch it on your own, get a laugh out of it, judge me, whatever your guys' choice, but I want to be courteous, courteous and uh, respectful towards people who have families out there. I'm going to get a little bit vulgar, so 
maybe don't watch around your kids or do i don't care your choice um anyway so i cannot stand prank callers i cannot stand scammers and i know everybody goes through a phase where you're super mature and you just do shit for laughs that make no damn sense and i'm i'm all there I, i'm all for that man like do stuff that makes you happy make jokes laugh as much as you possibly can enjoy your life and just have fun right but at the same time don't do it from a standpoint where it could possibly impact somebody's life in a serious or negative way now what i mean by that is if you're in a prank call do the whole hey is your refrigerator running you better go catch it ha 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 something like that right something completely lighthearted and harmless and something that's just stupid that's gonna make somebody go oh you bastards and you guys can have a good laugh right don't come at it saying that you know you're from the irs or from a police department or from an area of law enforcement or government or something that can potentially impact somebody's life right because you don't know who you're dealing with you don't know who you're calling and you might be doing that to the wrong person to then cause a downward spiral and just cause all sorts of issues obviously it didn't cause a downward spiral for me but it did affect me minutely and the reason why i'm making this video is once again get it off my chest get it out of my head and just move past it right put it out there on the internet maybe it's not the best platform to do it maybe social media is a terrible idea because now you guys can judge me and it might increase sprint calls i don't fucking know but again i don't fucking care because this is what i have to say and if you like it cool if not then i'm gonna say it because i need to so i received a print call i didn't know it was a print call at the time and it was a phone number that showed up on my phone that i didn't recognize like the majority of people in the world not just americans if i don't recognize the number i'm not gonna pick it pick it up right if it's important you'll leave me a voicemail if the voicemail is important i'll get back to you well this number went to voicemail they left me a voicemail claiming they were some officer from a local police department and they had a business matter to discuss with me now in case you guys don't know i've had a past i've gotten in trouble with the law i've done some stupid shit in my younger days and I, i've been in some pretty deep shit with the law but i haven't been in trouble for a little over a decade now since i started having kids i was like you know what? i'm gonna try to be a good father and not put my family in unnecessary stressful situations so i'm gonna try to you know stay out of trouble and i have for the most part, I've gotten a couple of traffic tickets here and there, but nothing big, right? Um, so I haven't been trouble in years, so I knew it wasn't regarding me. So my mind instantly weren't went to the worst possible scenario where it involves my family, my brother, my sisters. I'm uh, sorry, my brothers or my sister, my dad. You know, maybe something happened with him where now they need to discuss with me to make sure I can identify something or take care of a legal matter or whatever the shit, right? Or maybe it was my younger brother and he's back on drugs. And now he needs me to either bail him out or something happened to this kid or I, I've got all these terrible scenarios running through me, right? So it's that gut-wrenching feeling where your heart just drops, right? And this is where it goes from a joke to some serious bullshit that's messing people's lives. You've now put me in a situation where I'm not comfortable and now I have to call back to figure out that you guys are just fucking with me, right? So I call back with that gut-wrenching feeling and it instantly hangs up on me. So I'm over here like, okay, that's a little bit weird. Maybe it's a personal cell phone number, so maybe you know maybe they accidentally hung up which makes me even more worried because if it's personal that means it's a detective or it's some higher up in law enforcement right so i'm worrying like you wouldn't believe and as soon as i get off the screen they call me back which now i'm like oh shit, it has to be serious they call me back saying i just missed a call from this number at this point i'm like that's weird but again personal cell phone i can understand that um anyway the, the number ended up having like an extension and i ended up telling me well, i just missed a call this is the extension I got. It's apparently regarding a business matter. And then he goes, oh, well, do you know who called you? No, he didn't leave a name. But again, this is the extension. Well, let me go ahead and look it up. I'm over here like, okay, dude, you're probably just a dumb rookie. That's fine. And then he ends up coming back saying, oh, looks like it was Officer Smiley. At that fucking moment, I knew they were full of shit. I fucking knew it. And I instantly hit the roof, got annoyed. And I was like, what the fuck, dudes? But again... I'm the kind of person that if you're gonna waste my time, I'm about to make waste your time, make you feel like a dumbass, make you feel this big. So I proceeded to go through this call and just red flag after red flag, you know, Officer Smiley was the same voice as the person that answered the phone call and his name's Officer Smiley. I asked him, you know, questions that only a real policeman or police department would know. He ended up giving me some bullshit answers and I ended up making him look like a complete and total fucking dumbass. Anyway, it all accumulated with me basically tearing him down completely make him feel like a retard, swearing at him, him being like, oh, don't swear at me, this call's recorded, and me swearing at him again, and then make him, make him feel uncomfortable with questions he couldn't answer, and make him look like a moron, so he ended up hanging up on me, right? Because, so, so essentially, <clears throat> I accomplished my goal 
of making them look like a dumbass, making them feel like a dumbass, making them feel about this big. And they hung up, right? But then you got me over here going like, ha ha ha, I accomplished what I wanted. But now I'm frustrated by the fact that, I've, that they've wasted my time, that it was something that made me feel terrible temporarily. And I allowed myself to get caught up in it and go along with it just to get quote unquote revenge. So I got super mature on my end and I decided to take the low road, right? Which again, is not personally gratifying. It was temporarily gratifying, but then I found myself getting frustrated with myself for allowing myself to do that and allowing myself to get annoyed and allowed myself to get sucked in, even knowing it's a bullshit prank. <clears throat> and then I started overthinking them being like, oh, hey, well, what if it was a scammer trying to get information out of me, right? Well, now it annoys me that they have my information to begin with. And then I start thinking, overthinking like crazy, like I always do, and saying, well, what if there's an actual issue out there that I'm not aware of yet? And what if that's how they got my information? And they exploited that for their own personal laughs and games, which irritates me even more. So I got all sorts of worked up and now I was paranoid and I almost called the police department to go and report it. And I was like, you know what? No, it's just people being dumb, dumb pranks. If there was something serious, they would have knocked on my door, right? Um, or they would have called me, left me a voicemail, and then I would have gotten directly through. So anyways, I'm over here annoyed, pissed off, angry, just upset with people. I'm like, how shitty can people be? Just doing that whole judgment thing, going off on a rant, just being a shitty fucking person myself, right? And I end up realizing I'm being just as bad as them. I'm being immature, I'm being judgmental, and I'm letting something that doesn't matter fucking affect my life. They want to waste their time, more power to them. I don't have to allow them to waste my time although I did, and I don't have to allow them to continue wasting my time by me thinking about it, right? So going towards making yourself better each and every day, I realized what I was doing. I realized that, whoa, that's a problem. Stop being paranoid, stop overthinking, stop being negative, and stop being a fucking asshole and let yourself get frustrated and annoyed by the littlest, littlest stupid shit. So that's what the purpose of the video is, because I've let it go, so frustrated by it, wanted to talk about it. And honestly, dude, if you guys want to have a laugh, you guys want to joke, that's completely fine. Don't go overboard to a serious area of people's lives. That kind of shit can permanently affect somebody. And if they didn't call you back and they thought it was a real thing, they could be sitting there biting their fucking nails with the wondering what the hell is going to happen, too afraid to call. So my point is, is if you guys are going to, be, are, are going to joke and play pranks, that's fine. Keep it lighthearted and keep it out of the area or out of the realm of fucking with people's lives. That's my goal. If you do do that, where you fuck with people's lives as a scammer or as a prank caller who takes things way overboard, then fuck you. You are the lowest of the low, the scum of the earth, and I cannot stand you people. You guys need to find better use of your time. You guys need to become productive members of society, productive members for yourselves, and find something that'll give you that same fulfilling, fulfillment feeling without being a complete and total dickbag. Now, I realize that I told you guys in the first video, I'm trying not to be a dickbag. I'm sounding like a judgmental dickbag, and that's fine. But that is my rant. So to all those people who scam me or prank call me, fuck you. You will never win. I will always come out on top, and I will continue to make you feel this big and make you feel like a fucking moron. And if you guys continue doing it, I will put your information and put your numbers on blast. If you are the one that did it, comment below and I'll tear you a fucking new one. Or if you just want to comment below and say, I can't believe this guy's going off on a rant. This is so funny. Look at this angry guy. Ha ha ha. That's fine. I'll read your comments. I'll respond to them. And I'll realize how big of a dumbass I'm being. Anyways, guys, that's my story. And I got a laugh out of it eventually because I was like, do you know what? This is the most childish, ridiculous shit on both ends. And I'm letting it affect me. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, if you guys thought it was funny and got, got a laugh out of it, got something out of it, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that jazz. Um, comments, let me know what you all think. And I will read and try to comment back to everybody in a sincere, mature fashion. Try not to be an idiot. So if you want to test me, test me. But I hope I'm not alone in this. I'm hoping you guys can relate where you guys appreciate a good joke, but think people sometimes just take it too far. And you guys can join me in saying, fuck you to all of them. Anyways, guys, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for letting me rant, vent, whatever. My next video, I'll be back on track to my motivational happy self. Woohoo! But anyways, I want to let that be known. And again, stay positive, guys. Don't let negative shit affect you. Keep grinding no matter what anybody else does. You can't control what happens. You can control how you react to it. This is a classic example of me not controlling how I react to something, but then having a self-realization moment to be better and realizing 
that I need to improve it. And now I'll be working towards moving towards it. Again, hopefully I'm not asking for trouble and that those print calls increase, but if they do, that's just another way for me to test myself and test to see how, how good I've actually gotten at what I'm preaching, right? So anyways, guys, thanks. Hope you guys have an excellent fucking day. Be productive, be happy, be positive, and fucking tear shit up. I'm out, guys. Bye.